Hello, welcome to Storytime with me, Sherry de la Creme. I would like to read you a very special version of Hansel and Gretel. This is called Hansel's Feast. Once upon a time, there was a greedy fat boy called Hansel. Now, Hansel wasn't having a very good day. He'd recently been sacked from his job where he was working in the local burger restaurant. This was after he'd been caught stuffing a load of leftover food and he'd also been kicked out of the family home after his mother had found out about all the extra weight he'd put on from snacking. You see, his family was struggling for money right now and just didn't have much food. But poor little Hansel, no matter what he tried, he just could not control his appetite. And now, as if that wasn't bad enough, he'd taken himself off for a walk in the woods, but had gotten lost. It was late afternoon and the sun was gently falling in the sky, gradually sinking the forest into darkness. He'd brought some snacks for the journey, of course, but they'd gone hours ago, and now his stomach was starting to growl hungrily. Shut up, you, he told his stomach. It's your fault we're in this mess. He poked his belly angrily and his finger sunk into a fleshy flabbiness. It's not my fault I'm a growing boy, Hansel muttered. Although he was only in his early 20s, he already weighed 220 pounds and had a rather nice rounded belly that struggled to be contained by his large elasticated shorts. He also had on a very thin t-shirt that struggled to cover his fat gut. His stomach let out another growl of hunger and Hansel cried out with pain. It had been hours since he'd last eaten and normally at home he'd been stuffing himself full of snacks, maybe a couple of pizzas, a nice game of shake, and then dinner. So by this time his belly was expecting to be filled. Suddenly the most beautiful smell of food came across his nostrils. It smelt just like home-cooked roast dinner, or the best takeaway he'd ever tasted. His mouth started watering and his belly growled hungrily again. He quickened his steps and followed the smell, eager to find out the source of the amazing smell. Following his nose through the trees, he eventually came across a clearing and in the middle was a medium-sized cottage. In the dull twilight sun, it was difficult to see, but Hansel would have sworn that the house was made out of candy. Surely his eyes must be deceiving him. He approached cautiously, and when he got closer, it certainly looked and smelt like candy. From the gingerbread roof, with frosting all over the walls, and with candies tucked into the frosting, what a sight to see! This must surely be a dream, thought Hansel, the most delicious, beautiful dream he had ever had in his whole life. I bet it'll be okay if I just have a little taste, he said. Using his last reserves of energy, he ran to the house and licked a portion of the wall. Sure enough, it tasted like the best candy he had ever tasted in his whole life. He was already biting off small chunks and stuffing it greedily into his mouth. The food felt so fantastic entering his empty belly that he couldn't stop himself eating more and more. Slumping against the wall, his stomach was finally full up and he saw he'd made a noticeable dent on the house.
Hansel pressed a hand to his belly. The sudden intake of food had caused it to expand and become bloated. It gurgled away quite happily. He was very excited to see what food he would find next. This seemed like all his birthdays and Christmases had come true at once. He was so excited about finding this dream house. He didn't even stop to think about who might live there. He continued to fill his gut with all the sweet treats he could reach. His belly grew rounder and larger, struggling to contain his gluttonous feast. Eventually, it grew too heavy for Hansel to stand comfortably, so he sank to his knees with a thud. He lay back and moaned as the weight of his meal pressed down upon him. It had been so long since he'd been able to truly eat his fill that he'd gone totally overboard. After a few minutes of moaning and massaging his bloated belly, he struggled to his feet again. He staggered to the door of the candy house and let himself in. Upon entering the little cottage, he was delighted to find the inside was decorated with just as much candy as on the outside. If Hansel didn't already feel like his stomach were about to burst, he would have helped himself to a few more snacks on the way. He staggered into the living room and collapsed into a marshmallow sofa and was quickly lulled to sleep by the warmth in his belly.